To avoid disrupting the ribbing pattern, we're going to decrease two stitches at the same time and we start when the fourth stitch on the left needle is a knit stitch. Bring the yarn to the back of the work and then insert the tip of the right needle into this knit stitch from left to right. Then ease the left needle out, leaving the stitch on the right needle. Then, with that stitch still sitting on the right needle, insert the tip of the right needle from left to right again into the next two stitches, as if we're going to knit them together. Then take the left needle out, leaving the stitches on the right needle. Now we're going to bring the slip stitches back to the left needle and work them together. And we start by dealing with this purl stitch, that is the first stitch from the tip of the right needle right now. We insert the tip of the left needle into that stitch from right to left and take the right needle out, bringing the stitch to the, uh, to the left needle. Uh, now here's what happened. We have two knit stitches and two purl stitches all repositioned so that they stay together. And that's exactly what we need to make the decreases. The next step would be bringing these stitches back to the left needle and working them in the same time. So we're going to do it in the most efficient way possible. To do that, we insert the tip of the left needle into these slipped knits and we do it so that the right needle stays at the back of the left needle. And then without taking the right needle out, we wrap it with the working yarn, we do it the same way whether you hold yarn in your right hand or whether you hold yarn in your left hand. The idea is exactly the same. We simply wrap the tip of the needle as if we're going to knit it. And we are going to knit these two stitches together through the back loop. So we push the wrap through and slip the stitches off the left needle, knitting these two stitches together through the back loop. We've just decreased one stitch. Now it's time to decrease the second stitch by purling the next two stitches together. These two stitches happen to be purls because we repositioned the stitches cleverly uh, just two steps um, before. And now we simply purl these two stitches together as usual through the front loop. And this creates a reversible decrease that looks nice on both sides of the work and does not disrupt the ribbing pattern. Let's do it again. So the first stitch on the left needle is a knit. We keep the yarn at the back of the work and slip the stitch knitwise from the left needle to the right needle. Then we insert the tip of the right needle into the next two stitches as if we're going to knit them together and take the left needle out leaving the stitches on the right needle. Then we return the purl stitch back to the left needle, but we do it so that the needle enters the stitch from right to left. And now we have our two groups of stitches all ready to be worked and decreased one stitch in each group. So we insert the left needle into the two knits so that the right needle is at the back, wrap the right needle with the yarn, pull the wrap through, knitting these two stitches together through the back loop, and then we bring the yarn to the front of the work and purl these two stitches together. And then we continue to work on the project. As you see, even though we decreased so many stitches in this row, the pattern is not interrupted. We have our knit purl, knit purl, knit purl, knit purl. And because the decreases are reversible, we can do it in any row. It could be right side row, wrong side row, and the process is exactly the same if we want to add this, uh, these decreases to a project worked back and forth or the one worked in the round. The fabric will be completely reversible. The only thing is that these decreases form a left-leaning decrease on the right side of the work and a right-leaning decrease on the wrong side of the work. And because of that, these decreases are not a good choice when we want to make full-fashioned decreases. Uh, but it, this method works great when we need to shape a crown of a hat, make decreases across the row or round, or in other situations where the slant of the decrease is not that important. Happy knitting, my friend. I'll talk to you in the next tutorial.